What's up, guys? Um, this game had me on it for a long time last night trying to work on this gear. Uh, it's uh, actually pretty cool, and I just learned that I can get you know the next tier troops. Um, at level 21, I'm at level 20. Sorry, my, my finger will go over the camera. Because this is a sideways playing game. I gotta figure out how much I need. To get started on 21. But the gear part was the fun part last night. Let's see. I'm not popping those yet. Alright, so I need some gold and food and wood, it looks like. Get my free summon. Um, but uh, you guys already know I play Age of Z and War and Order. And, you know, this is a, I mean, I played, played Clash of Empires, I played Guns of Glory, I played, um, what's the other game that I had? I mean, I played all the different camel games, I didn't like Titan Throne, um, I didn't end up liking, uh, Is it World on Fire? VIP store is a good place to check for deals. Let's see. I didn't mean to do that. I pushed the wrong button. Anyway, but the Falcon on your tower will give you, find you some demons or create them one way or the other. Sufficient load capacity because I need food and I need gold. So, in order to, I can go ahead and send him to get that little cleanup done. <coughs> go into reports, my gathering reports, delete alliance, delete. Um, certain things are important, you don't want to delete them, but. Daily package always gives you the free little claim up there. Get back to my castle there. You can see I'm level 20. And I'm, I've got everything ready for level 21. Um, the little red mark shows this is, there's two Lord skills. Okay, this is my development. I named it. Um, I think I have everything in defense and development maxed out so then it's attack and war but what do i need i'm gonna go ahead and add my defense because if i'm going to war i'll be using this preset which is not actually set up um set up you know Strategically right now, I just kind of have been filling some things in. I haven't really been that far into a lot of battle yet. Um, because I know I've, be, I've been moving along faster than most. And I don't know. I was waiting for the rest of the world here to um, develop. You can see how big it is. <clears throat> It shows a little bit of outside there. There's all kinds of different um, buildings and stuff that you have to learn about.
You can join the Alliance to fight a gateway when it is unlocked. Alliance members will get rewards. Once the Alliance occupies the gateway, your Alliance will be able to attack the gateway after expanding the territory adjacent to it. You can dispatch an army teleport to the city core area in Nassau. Prepare taking the city through and after occupying it. In addition, we will get abundant resources from fertile land and core area. Alliance members can go through the gateway after the Alliance occupies it. Okay, so this is one. If I click the Alliance tab, territory, that top right chest there, that's what we get based off of what our territory is. And that pink stuff is starting to become something that I need to get more of. And then every time you open these and you claim the likes, it gives you a whole nother bar that you might win the chest over here after a certain amount, after it hits a certain amount. Tech will take you automatically to the recommended. Go ahead and just donate all that you can. And let's get back to the castle. So I've got to get hard to work for, if I go to my backpack, on the bottom tab, you can see that when I hit um, the monsters, you get chests. Um, and these are other chests that I've won. But I don't need those resources unlocked yet, so they've just been adding up. Now if I click the crossbars, I can see, oh, I've got a blueprint I can open. So now I can go back in, go to my forge, because I'm telling you, this, this gear thing is addicting. Because what you do is you end up, you make tons and tons and tons of gear after you win it. Um, forge, you go to the level here. It was 30 that I just opened. You can see blueprint. Okay, you make tons of gear, but there's a bar. The more gear you make, the higher the bar goes, the better quality and um, benefits you can win from it. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it just because I'm excited to see what it's going to be. Just wait till you guys see this. I mean, it is a process to decide how you want your gear. Increases resource protection, weapon forge. So if I go in here, <clears throat> go to my blue sword there. This is a level 50. You have to have your uh, um, hero to level 50 to wear it. Upgrade enhancement. But see, it's green. <clears throat> So I don't want to put too much into it. Um, so if I go back out of the forge and I click on hero, okay, um, it'll automatically show if there's something that I can do to my current hero. But if I hit equip, it changes the whole listing. So now it's saying that I can't equip anything. So everybody's already equipped. <clears throat> but what did I just make? Where is it? Well, it's not going to shh. I don't even stay here. Um, so if I click my 50, there it is right there. That's one of my housekeeper. As long as you have the hero that's high enough that they could actually equip it then you can see it so right now on her on the right side <clears throat> is the dominator scepter level 30 just the same it's enhanced for the to increase the effects and she's my marksman so the archer's training speed is up um <clears throat> i have to find out who my warehouse keeper is see on the bottom on the left Right there, effects on warehouse keeper. 
So, if I back out of this, I gotta click off of both of them. Then you can go into here. <clears throat> click on your castle. And you'll see right here. That is what you click to see what your appointments are. Alright? And then, over here, one, two, three, is um, the different stages. So one's at the appointment for the military, and one's the appointment for <coughs> development. Um, what was the name I was looking for? The warehouse keeper. Okay, so warehouse keeper will have to be a level 30 to wear that. Now, I don't really care much about protection right now because I don't get attacked. But eventually I might. Go ahead and pop out all these troops here. This one, they're taking a minute it seems. Click one resource tile to create those resources. I keep well. I'm gonna stop training some troops because I'm about to uh, build a castle and make a new tier. So, what do I need? This right here, magical spring produces magic potions. That's the one that you start running low on. And I'm increasing my academy right now, which is right here. Um, let me get my pen out. My academy. Normally it'll show you a recommended if you don't have anything researching at the time. Alright, so if I go back to Hero, I can see if there's anything I can do. If I click on this guy, it shows that the little exclamation point, it's saying I have enough XP to increase him. Um, let me find out what his position is, because I know he's useful for something. So, that's not him. There he is. He's the physician, okay, for healing. Um, so the higher the XP I make him, the better the gear I can put on him. But that doesn't make his... Um, we'll go back to him since we're talking directly about him. That the XP on him does not make his uh, upgrade his percentages better. That's all about his tier. Um, so if I click my hero thing down here at the bottom, and I go down and I pick on him, okay, you can you can star him up, and then you know. So let me use my pen here, right here. Star them up, okay. But five stars where that ends. But then there's tier, okay. If I click on tier, you can see that you have to win these things. So I'll go to the highest stage, check, and I'll sweep it because I've already won it. See if I win any of them. And of course, I didn't win any of that time. That kind of sucks. And I won one so far. I only got one out of all those sweeps. And then this one. Um, is a different level. So that's one way of doing it. Or you can win randomly the things you need by... And you get XP when you sweep, you get different things. Like going to Expedition down here on the toolbar at the bottom. Expedition. And it shows where you're at. So I'm already at 8-1. Now I don't know if I can win it. Let's, let's try one. Um, I did some work to my troops yesterday. So 
This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna look that it's mages on the front line. So we wanna hide my infantry, which is already done. Horses are what will kill the mages quickest. Mages go after infantry. I'll put him over here so he can attack those. Um, we gotta slow down the cavalry. I'm gonna put her back here because she can uh, shoot further. And archers back here, he can shoot further. And I'll put my infantry back here in the corner. Be safe. And he's my most powerful, so he's not necessary for any weakness in this battle. But he'll take some bumps over the head. You see how the horses came running up and my mages were hitting the whole time down here on the bottom? Yeah, so I lost. Maybe. It, it's crazy how the battle is completely different and it's it's quite a lot to learn so I'm trying to learn it but I have to do more the more I do the better look how like I have like <clears throat> almost no troops I need to get that stronger troops which is T4 which is hard to read about I like the game to offer better descriptions um, on these things, but there we go, there's some more truth there. Um, <clears throat> um, so that you can uh, know, you know, what your goals are, know what you're shooting for, know what you're closing to, know what direction you're going in. Because um, when you don't know a game, because you haven't been playing it forever, or you don't know somebody to help you, you know, you can you can end up wasting a lot of time and resources on things that aren't going to help you. And the best way to do things is to spend your time and resources on stepping stones the whole time. Always working towards something that's going to support the next things coming up. So the fragments are how you star up. Now you can go to the auction down here. This is the market. You check this every day. So magic potion. Um, <clears throat> that's not a good deal though. See it's only 10% off. Um, I have the gems and I need food. So I'm going to get that. Hit the free refresh. I have the gems. That's 80% off. I have the gems. That's 70% off. And so on. Then the auction house is over here. So you can click on um, the hammer and see if there's anything on sale in there. Um, you can see they're selling that for a good price there. Expensive price. We play historic auction. When I have my screen recorder going, um, it slows things down. So these are what we can win from the Alliance battles we do. The historic. I'm going to have to catch that on video. I'm still learning about that one myself too. Um, I do have a Discord server set up. Uh, or, well, I have my own personal and then I have... There's one for the Alliance that they have set up that I'm part of. And you can ask all the questions you want um, to try and learn things that somebody else has already learned. And I'd be happy to share. <coughs> um, Martial Boots. Strength Endurance. It's worth a try. <coughs> I bid 2000 on those. Okay, so hit equipment button again. If you hit the back arrow, it'll take you out. It's a little bit tricky to learn. Let's see. Endurance. 
Archer's Attack, Rider HP. It's a decent piece there too, but they're already up to 6,000 on that. So I will keep my distance for now. Strength with Zeke, Siege Machine. I already have a ton of Siege bonuses. Archer's Attack, Infantry, Defense, Siege Machine's Attack. That's a good piece right there. Level 40, Enhancement 10. That's only going for 3,000. Level 40, Enhancement 10. Archer Defense, Mage Defense, Rider Defense. I like both of those pieces. But you can see I only have 400 gems. And Boots is actually what my least I have. The least... Um, pieces Alliance War Abyssal Tribe so I'm going to go ahead and join him send him one of, one of my marches here no I thought I had a third march out what happened to him he didn't gather all that already Oh, he just maxed out what he could gather. <clears throat> when you run low on troops, that's what happened. You know, because I have the three marchers, which I needed my VIP and my rally spot. The top right, and check those notifications. Cool. Those 50 gems I just got is how I enhance gear. So, spend, I need to spend more gems. I have some gems. 10,000, 100, 200, 150. <sighs> you can win them. Let's see. <clears throat> Um, so again, the whole reason I was doing this video, so you can go in through your forge, um, and see what's to enhance, but you have to go in through your heroes, hit equip, and then you can go through and pick and choose gears that you want to check, update, move around. He's my infantry leader, so anything that I have infantry leader, I like to... Because there's skills that are given, just generally, like these. Mar the Archer's Defense, Mage's Attack, those are just given. Um, but then there's times when you get a skill that only works on... Um, the appointed hero. So this is a... Level 50 gear that I have. I could check what it would give me to enhance it. That's a level 20 infantry leader. Train capacities up. Um, I didn't have the opportunity to record last night because my uh, daughter and it was just too noisy, too much going on. And I, but I just couldn't stop from, I was having too much fun doing all this. This is a level 50, I think yeah, it is. Required level 50. So you'll see, tells you the requirement there. Okay. The enhancement level, which I'll show you how to enhance. See how this is a five, but it's only a required level 40. But then you can see what the bonuses are and then the basic that it offers so some are for your march size your knowledge administration and then some are battle related stats only so extra 532 strength pretty good deal there so I gotta click off um, now what I can do is because I have gear on people that I could be breaking down like this Strength is it infantry defense. You know, like, what good does it help me to have gear that's useless and barely helping? So, I can go down low on my 
heroes here. Make sure, make sure that I don't have any odd pieces that I could be breaking down to strengthen other pieces. I want to keep an idea. Now I can go into the forge and see all of my equipment, or I can click unequipped equipment. But there's so many that it's still confusing. So it makes it difficult to, uh, to do it that way. So this is the way that I do it. To find out if I put gear on somebody that really didn't need it. That's a level one. Enhancement 7. I don't know what I was doing doing that. Remove. Well, she is my chaplain, I think. Now we're going to have to go back out and go look. Because I can't remember all this stuff yet. Not until I've been doing it long enough. And with my busy life and all the games I play. So, chaplain. Okay, so... That gear on her was useless, so let's go back to Hero. We'll hit Equip, then we'll go back down to her. Okay, remove. Now this is my chat line, I think. I can't remember the faces very well, or it's him. Then Antonio. Okay. So it's him. So I need to take it back off of him. Hit equip. You can go to any one. Once you hit equip, then it starts the whole <coughs> thing there. Now I have military gear on. <sighs> but this is only a level 10 gear, so I might as well just... I'm not actually too worried about the building speed enough to sacrifice power. So we'll continue back down here and see where we left off on random gear appointed is the term that I'll use. Requirement. The only reason that I put gear on these <coughs> troops uh, on these heroes was because it makes them stronger when they um you know, or sent out randomly on my second or third march. So what I'm doing is I'm taking everything off of the, the heroes that I know are not my first march. This, this guy's a good siege guy though um, but I need to organize my gear so how do I do that I need to know what I have so that goes so I can hit remove all done alright now we go to him remove all him Remove all. Because I'm ready to clean house. She. What position is she? She's in an important position. Of some sort. There she is. She's the senior. Oh, that's the production speed. So. What do I have? Oops. Excuse me. Hit the wrong button. What do I have for her? That is gear boosted for the senior. 
Okay, she's already got the whip. Taking that off because that can go on. Those are all taken. So I can go down to him. See, what's his helmet? Remove it. He is my senior. So, building speed, 3% equip. So now, I go back to her. She is an archer. So what helmet will help an archer? Or what do I settle for? I guess we'll go with the Rider HP for now. Get more stats out of that. Now let's check. See who my scholar is. But this is this is like the process, and like I already did all the funnest stuff, you know, when I first started, and I just had all kinds of things to pick from. Scholar, okay, that's her, but she's my she's my main mage, so I don't want to put that gear on her if she has something, which is right here. Training speed, research. She's the scholar, so she gets this purple gear with good special attribute. I'm not messing with it. So, who was I working on? Uh, her. See, she's not a marksman, so she doesn't get that special tribute. that I could give her right now.
Enhancement, enhancement five. But it's a level twenty. It's not as strong. But she doesn't get any of these special bonuses because she's my marksman. So it is quite fun trying to work all this out. And then once I've taken off some gear like you guys just saw me do, I can hit this red bar here. The red button, and then you can see all the gear that's not being worn. And then, if once you click one, you have to click it off. All right, so I see this is a level one, level one. So, this is worth getting rid of just because all it's doing is cluttering up my mind. Enhancement one required level 10. Required here at 10, enhancement 1. And level 1, armor and boots. What's this? Level 20, enhancement 1. And those stones that I'm getting is what I use. So if I go back here to the forge and then I hit this button next to it, that's how you enhance your gear. Um, now, this is all the stuff that's not being worn. So I can hit. Hero and see what I think needs to be worked on, which says level max. So let's go here up top. You can see this purple gear, three blue stars. I can still keep enhancing it for archer's attack. This is on my infantry guy, but the archer's attack will still work. Um, because it's not dedicated to a certain hero wearing it. But the rider and archer HP is already at max. Though, every time I do en enhance those, I'm also enhancing my endurance and my physique. Okay, but you can see the cost will go up in stones the more you do. This is the level 50 gear. Level maxed on the rider attack. So, that's a little bit about what I got going on. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, I do got to go make sure my daughter's getting up and moving. Free summon. And um, I got to work on resources so i'll catch you guys soon especially when i get the t4 troops so there's a demon so i can go ahead and, whenever you hit a demon you get the opportunity to win chests for making more gear all right i'll catch you guys later thank you